Hi, my name is Natalie Burton and I'm from Granada Hills, California. I wanted to share a little bit about myself so you guys can learn a little bit about me before I really go into why I want to be a part of the Truth Initiative. So I love going on adventures anywhere it is. I love going backpacking, fishing, rock climbing, anything you name it, I'll probably do it. I am also really into playing video games, which is odd, but <laughs> I really enjoy it a lot. Uh, so I stream video games as well as my other activities I do. So I'm actually majoring in biology here at Shamrad University in hopes to one day become an orthodontist. And I'm a part of a few different clubs here on campus. I am the president of Adventure Club, which I created when I got here my freshman year. Uh, to bring more students together who have this similar interest of having the love for adventure. I'm the vice president of fitness club, which one of my friends took over, so I decided to help her out because I knew how to run a club. And I'm also a student of the Hogan Entrepreneurship Program here on campus, which teaches you how to run your own business, which for me, I have hopes to one day have my own orthodontist office as well as I have a few other business ideas which I want to put into action. So other than that, I also work in the Office of Student Activities and Leadership. So I feel like I'm a good match for bringing the Truth Initiative to campus because I am already a part of the programs who, I'm a student coordinator, so I actually make those types of events. So why I wanted to join the Truth Initiative is because I know smoking is very glamorized and I actually wanted to show the facts and expose the truth of why it shouldn't be. Uh, right now, e-cigarettes are very popular within the target age group for the Truth Initiative, so which falls into where I am. For college students and high school students, I really want to expose the facts of how just because e-cigarettes have vapor and seem healthier than the smoke of smoking tobacco is, it's actually not good for you. The nicotine actually causes tumors as well as inhibits chemotherapy from working. And I wanna address how formaldehyde is actually in it and that's also carcinogenic, which causes cancer. And I wanted to share my story of how it's affected my family. I've actually gotten my dad to stop smoking, but my aunt actually didn't so over time she actually had to get her toes cut off because her blood circulation to the rest of her body wasn't very strong so I really want to expose all these factors about e-cigarettes and smoking and eliminate smoking here on my campus to keep everyone healthier as long as well as the secondhand smokers uh, people are exposed to secondhand smoking so thank you for taking the time to listen to me and hear about myself I appreciate this opportunity thank you bye